everybody, Victoria Marie here, producer director of Gray is the New Blonde, the documentary that I'm doing about the views and attitudes towards women with gray hair. And today's update is actually going to be a compilation of what I talk about today and then two other updates that I did five weeks ago that I never posted. I just got so incredibly busy between the trailer, the website, and a host of other things regarding Gray as a New Blonde, I just didn't get a chance to, to post those updates, so I'm going to compile them with this update. So you're gonna see different clothes, different hair, different everything, all edited into one update. Um, so I'm going to cover uh, an introduction to the newest member of our team. The interview I uh, did with USA Today, they interviewed me, that is. Um, something I bought from my store, Gray's a New Blonde store, it's a coffee mug and it is adorable. I talk about the website for anyone who's thinking they need to do their own website. I'll give you the 411 on the website that I did. Um, my DP and my boyfriend, Dave Nelson, he started the website and I finished it. So I'll give you information on that. And then the making of the trailer, which was no easy feat, but it was a great creative process. So I'm gonna cover all of those things. And, um, but before we get started, I just wanna to say to everyone who has subscribed here on YouTube, like, shared between Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all of my videos and posts, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it because you are getting the word out for Gray as a New Blonde, which honestly, it's a much bigger message than just Gray as a New Blonde. It's about women's empowerment, and that is the bigger picture. Okay, let's get started. So I wanna say it was two weeks ago, I am uh, on YouTube, which I am almost daily because I have a YouTube channel, obviously. And, um, oh, my kitty cats are play fighting. So if you hear them, that's what's happening. Um, so I was on YouTube and I stumbled across this video from a woman I had never seen before. And I've seen a ton of videos from many, many, many women who are going gray, went gray, gray, make, gray hair makeup, gray hair products, just because, of course, this is what I'm doing and I just want to be well-versed. So I came across this video and, I, and it was from like a year ago. I thought, oh, how have I missed this? So I ended up watching it. She was so engaging, <laughs> I immediately sent her an email because I knew I wanted to use some of what she had in her YouTube video in the film because we are now in the editing phase and we are working day and night, night and day to get this done and finished and basically ready for uh, the release of it um, at the end of the year. And so I immediately sent her an email and she immediately sends me a response saying, oh my God, what a great project. How do I become involved? So after a couple of emails back and forth, I thought she has so much to say and she brings so much to the table. So I am here to introduce to you the newest member of our team and newest associate producer, Elizabeth Alfano. I cannot wait for you guys to see her in the film. She's got the gift of gab. But just let me tell you a little bit about her. I have her bio here. She is an award-winning media personality, content producer, and host. Um, she started her own production company back in 2009 in Chicago. And, um, and then that it was very successful and it became a web series in 2011 and then uh, in 2012 she launched a digital event series and talk show entitled The Celebrity Dinner Party and she has a bunch of uh, those dinner party um, videos up on YouTube which are really funny and fun to watch so um, she is an animal lover animal advocate and she is vegan now I'm pescatarian so I'm not vegan not yet I'm not sure if I'll go vegan but I'm 
I keep thinking about it, but she is 100% vegan. And she's a silver sister. <laughs> of course, of course she's a silver sister. Anyway, so um, she is the newest member of our team, associate producer. I am so excited to have her. And she is a firecracker. She just has so much spunk, personality, and, and I am extremely excited that she is on board now. My, my cat is just going a little crazy. I'm sorry, guys. All right. Um, the rest of the updates I'm going to edit in, so stay tuned where I talk about everything else um, that's the latest and the greatest for Grey is the New Blonde. Let me get started. The first thing that I am over the moon about that took, I think, two or three months is the website. And honestly, I am surprised at myself. I will leave a link below the video so you can go and take a look. I tell you, it did come out better than I thought I was capable of. I did use the Wix.com platform. And once you kind of get into a groove and you begin to understand the inner workings of how the Wix platform is set up, it, it isn't so difficult. But of course, there is a learning curve, just like with anything, but in terms of being very user-friendly and easy, I have to say it was. So this is a shout out to Wix.com plus, and this is so important to me, you can actually speak to a live person Monday through Friday. I wish it was over the weekends, but at least it's a live human being. If you get stuck and you cannot figure something out for the life of you, and you have tried eight different ways to figure out how do you do something, you can make a phone call. I am computer savvy and technically savvy, but not to the point where I could sit down and put a website together. That's a bit of a learning curve for me, so I need it to be easy. I need it to be drag and drop, resize. That's what I need. And even with that, which is basically what Wix is, um, it still had its moments of challenges, but I have to say I'm very pleased uh, this went live on August the 16th. Today is September the 9th, so this is what, three weeks ago? And it has been well received, so I'm really happy with it, and I hope all of you will go take a look at it and enjoy. All right, the second update, it was, uh, it was the last video that I did, um, the last update video, that is, that I did, where I talked about um, an interview. I was interviewed for a major publication. I didn't want to say what the publication was at that time and I will put a link at the end of this video to that update so you can see it if you want to. Um, I didn't want to say what publication it was because I just didn't want to jinx it. I didn't, you know, once you do the interview you don't know what's going to happen. Well the interview came out and the publication is USA Today. Now USA Today, most people know that they have a newspaper and I don't even know if they have the newspaper anymore because I don't read the newspaper. So, well now they have several magazine publications and one of them, can you see that? It's called Best Years, Fabulous Living at 50 Plus. And right on the cover, right on the cover, die or don't, the great debate. And this article written by Mary Ellen Berg was the very first article in the magazine. And this is the fall winter of 2018 edition. So I guess it's, it's four times a year that they put this out. And the very first article on page 15, can you guys see that? Who's that? <laughs> that is Lorraine Massey. So apparently the um, writer contacted Lorraine and then Lorraine said, hey, you wanna to talk to also Victoria Marie. And so I am 
there's a little picture of me. Let's see if you can see it. You see that, guys, uh, on page 17. I am very, very thankful and grateful for both Lorraine Massey for recommending that Mary Ellen Berg, the writer, reach out to me because it's not every day you get into a magazine, so <laughs> I'm very excited about that. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you again. This is on your newsstands, if you guys can see this. And that was the publication, and it came out great. So I'm very excited about that. And then the last thing is, look what I got. It's a coffee mug. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. Grace the new blonde. <laughs> Anyhow, I just thought this was adorable and I just wanted to show everyone how cute this is. And um, it only comes in black and it's, it's ceramic. It only comes in black because that's the logo colors. So that's why I don't um, make it available in other colors. There is another update that I'm going to do and I wanted to do a dedicated video for this one update, which is about the trailer, the official trailer. And I have to say that my director of photography slash editor, because we're all wearing many hats here on this team, he knocked it out of the park. We worked on this solidly for two weeks straight. Um, and the very first time that I saw the rough copy of what evolved over to be the finished product for the trailer, I was actually working on an Uber commercial. So I'm on set and we're in a break and he sends over the video, which was, I think, two minutes long. And honestly, I started crying because it was so just overwhelming. Because one, it was really that good, although that very first one never saw the light of day, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but because we have been working on this, me since uh, April or really February, February 2015 and then Dave came on board in uh, 2016 and it's just been solid non-stop so it was kind of a culmination of oh my god this is real and it's really good and I'm not one to say that lightly because if I don't like something or I think it's not up to snuff I'm just saying it saying it I mean I'm just putting it out there laying it on the line, I don't mince words. And it was just so good, it just, it just wowed me. I mean, I was just, I was floored, it was so good. So Dave laid the foundation and he just, he just, he, I don't know, he just has a knack for trailers. I've seen some of his other trailers that he's done for other movies and he really, he has a knack for trailers. But anyway, so he laid the found out foundation and then together, collaboratively, we fine-tuned it, added things in, took things out, switched some things around, and we have the trailer, which went live last night, um, not even 24 hours ago, and already a thousand shares from Facebook, which I am so humbled. It's Finally, this movement is really being felt around the world. So I am extremely excited, of course, not only for Grey as a New Blonde, of course, but because it's, it's moving the conversation forward. And hopefully we are really leaving old views and thoughts and attitudes behind us and starting to move into a new thought pattern about women and gray hair that one day, and hopefully one day soon, there won't even be a conversation about it and it'll be no big deal and no one will even bat an eyelash if a woman decides she doesn't want to color her hair or if she decides she wants to stop. 
And honestly, that's not to take away from the woman or the women who like coloring their hair. More power to you, the most important thing, and I say this on social media all the time, the most important thing is to stay true to yourself. That's the bottom line. So if you like to color, go for it. If you like to wear your hair short, go for it. If you like to wear your hair long, perfect. Whatever it is you wanna do with your hair and other attributes and things about your body, Go for it. Unfortunately, in today's society, and not only here in the US, but all across the world, when a woman chooses to ditch the dye or just not dye at all, the negativity and the, the pushback that a woman receives from family, friends, and perfect strangers on the street is overwhelming and I don't think that the average person even knows this our experience and I talk collectively about all the women that I have conversed with over these last three and a half years three years we are faced daily with negativity about such a simple decision that doesn't really impact anyone that doesn't that doesn't change the course of a person's life one way or the other except for her own so one of the one of the uh, things that i really hope that gray is the new blonde does is moves the conversation forward so 5 10 15 years from now we will all shake our heads in disbelief at what people cared if you didn't color your hair anymore this was an actual topic of conversation and i am here telling you september 2018 yes a lot of people care greatly and in a negative way if a woman chooses not to color her hair anyway i'll get off my soapbox now the the link to the trailer I will put under this video, but it's also right here on YouTube. But just in case, if you want to see, if you if you happen to be looking at this video on some other social media platform, and you want to look at the uh, the trailer, it's in the show notes. It's it's going to be right under this video. Anyway, um, until next time, mwah, and ciao for now.